Hello again everyone. In this video tutorial, I will be going over the coterminal angles problem in a step-by-step -step approach. The very first thing is we need to know what are the coterminal angles. So simply coterminal angles are the angle which share the same initial and terminal sides. On the right hand side example you can see we have a three angles which are what 45 degrees, ne negative 315 degrees and 405 degrees. Both start off from the x-axis which is their initial side and they end up with the same terminal side that you can see over here. That's the reason we call them all these three angles are coterminal angles. Let's look at these examples. We have two angles we've been given to us and we've been asked whether these two angles are coterminal angles. Simply what you need to do is just simply subtract them and see what happens. So this is what we're going to do. I'm going to just go ahead and put down first this negative 460 degrees, put in a parentheses. Then I want you to put a minus sign between them, okay? Negative 100 degrees okay so negative 460 degrees minus and minus become what when you open this parenthesis become positive 100 so this when you simplify it, this simply become negative 300 and what 60 degrees now you ask yourself is this quantity this angle is evenly divisible by 360 Yes, this is, this is, it is evenly divisible by 360 degrees. Once we have this kind of confirmation, then we're going to say, yeah, that means negative 460 degrees and negative 100 degrees are coterminal angles. That's all you have to do. Let's look at the second example. We've been asked whether these two angles are coterminals. Same thing again, you do this one. I want you to put down pi over 6, the first angle, and then put the minus sign in between always. Okay, that is the rule. So 13 pi over 6. Once you subtract, what you're going to get? That is going to give you what? Pi minus 13 pi over 6 and their uh, common denominator is 6. So that is going to give you what? That is going to give you negative 12 pi over 6 and which is same as what? negative simplify to what negative 2 pi now once again you ask yourself is it divisible right hand side you just look at it as long as this number is divisible by either 360 or 2 pi then we're going to say yes they are coterminals so we can see yes it is divisible by 2 pi, thus what happens? Thus, thus what? Pi over 6 and 13 pi over 6 are coterminal angle. That's all you have to do. In this example, uh, we've been asked to find the coterminal for angle which is theta equals to 114. So we could have a two angles. One is positive angle, the other one is negative angle. Let me show you first. Are we going to split it into two parts? 114 degrees, whatever this quantity is, I want you to put down 114 degrees and 114 degrees. First, as you can see on the right hand side, in order to find a coterminal, we 
must add or subtract 360. Here I'm going to add 360 degrees and here I'm going to subtract 360 degrees. So when you add them that is going to be a what? 400 and what? 74 degrees. That is your one of the coterminal angle on this side. When you subtract this one that is going to give you what? Negative 200 and what? 40 what? 6 degrees. So these are your two coterminal angles. So then you can say thus our two coterminal angles are 474 degrees and negative 246 degrees are coterminal angles for theta equal to what? 114 degrees. That's your answer. Okay, so these are your coterminal angles. So let's look at our next example. Same thing over here. We've been asked to find the coterminal angle for this theta equals to negative pi over 6. So once again, what we're going to do is we're going to split it into two parts. First, I want to put down negative pi over 6 on this side and negative pi over 6 on this side. Since we want to have a one positive and one negative angles, I'm going to do what? I'm going to add this time plus 2 pi over here and here I'm going to subtract 2 pi. So 2 pi, once you got this thing over here, uh, either you can write like this thing over here and you can see this I can write negative pi over 6. We want to make the same denominator. This become 12 pi over what? 6. So that's going to give you negative pi plus 12 pi over 6 equal to what? 11 pi over 6 is one of your coterminal on this side. Here I'm going to do the same thing over here. So negative pi over 6 minus 12 pi over 6 because we want to have the same denominator. So this become negative pi minus 12 pi over 6. So that's going to be negative 13 pi over 6 is another coterminals. So these are weird. So thus I'm going to just put down over here. I'm going to say over here thus uh, 11 pi over 6 and negative 13 pi over 6 are coterminal angles for theta equals to negative 5 pi over 6. So these are our answer, these ones. And in this example, uh, we have been asked to find the coterminal angle uh, for this given angle, this one. And the only thing that is there is restriction been applied to us is this one, that this coterminal angle must be in between 0 and 2 pi. First of all, I want you to ask yourself, this 11 pi over 3, this is obviously bigger than 2 pi. So what we're going to do is, I want you to put down 11 pi over 3. This time what I'm going to do, since this is bigger than uh, 2 pi, I'm going to subtract I'm going to subtract uh, 2 pi. Make sure you subtract 2 pi. Once you subtract 2 pi, let's go ahead and make their common denominator the same. So 11 pi over 3, and this could be written as what? Negative 6 pi over 3. So once uh, we have a 3 common denominator, this has become 11 pi minus 6 pi. That is going to give you how much? That's going to give you 5 pi over 3. 
and that is our required coterminal angle that is obviously that is it is between what between 0 and 2 pi you can see that so you can simply say thus 5 pi over 3 is our required coterminal angle that's all you have to do so these are the additional uh, example that I did for you guys if you look at this one over here uh, we have been given two angles negative 250 degrees and 100 degrees and we want to find out whether they are coterminal once again you subtract them and it turns out to be a negative 350 which is obviously not divisible evenly divisible by 360 so therefore uh, these two angles are not coterminal angles how about this example 7 same thing you subtract them and once you subtract them it turns out to be a negative 4 pi which is obviously divisible by 2 pi and in these example number 8 and 9 once again same thing uh, first you take the difference of these two and in example 8 the difference for these uh, negative 2 pi over 5 and negative pi over 5 turns out to be what negative pi over 5 which is not evenly divisible by 2 pi so therefore these two angles are not coterminal angles and in example 9 uh, once again we did find the difference which turns out to be a 720 which is indeed divisible by 360 so thus 800 degrees and 80 degrees are coterminal angles example 10 is about we've been asked to find two negative and two positive coterminal angles for negative two negative 45 degrees so if you wanna find the positive coterminal what you need to do is just simply add the multiple of 360 degrees so what I did is I just put down negative 45 degrees and I added up 360 and over here and I added up 720 so 315 degrees and 675 are our two positive coterminal angles likewise over here instead of adding I subtracted 360 degrees and 720 degrees so we got two negative angles so thus negative 405 and negative 765 are our two negative coterminal angles as well in example 11 you can see that we've been asked to find the coterminal between 0 and 360 degrees and the the, the angle that has been given to us is negative 700 degrees once again first I want you to add 360 and you see that we got negative 340 degrees which is not in between our given condition which says that this angle must be between 0 and 360 so what we're going to do is we're going to add 360 once again and we got 20 degrees which is indeed in between this uh, restriction 0 degrees and 360 thus 20 degrees is our required coterminal angle and finally in this example we've been asked to find the coterminal angle for negative 5 pi over 6 that must be between 0 and 2 pi once again since it's a negative 5 pi over 6 so you need to add 2 pi once you add 2 pi we got what 7 pi over 6 and which is indeed between 0 and 2 pi so thus 7 pi over 6 is our required coterminal our co 
Go Terminal Angle. Thanks for watching.